Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to discuss option prices and the theoretical option prices using uh, option pricing models. And in this example, I'm going to use the Microsoft Options chain and I just went to uh, any given month and this one in particular, just so it's 14 trading days to go. When you're looking at option prices, one of the things that you see is you have calls and puts, you have different strike prices and different expirations. But just by looking at the prices, it's very difficult to evaluate and really you, you can't tell on a relative basis if it's too high or too low. So what we do in finance is we tend to convert prices into relative value and then we create benchmarks to see how high or low it is. And I'll give you an example in the stock. For example, you could take a uh, stock, maybe Microsoft or let's just take like two banks like um uh, Bank of America and JP Morgan. If you're looking at the stock prices, it doesn't tell you much. But if you convert it to a relative value, let's say PE ratio, then we see on a relative value how high the price is versus earnings per share. And then we could compare the two. We could also create benchmarks. What is the average PE in the industry? What is the uh, historical average PE the stocks traded at? And then when you have those benchmarks, you could then see how far away has has the current relative value diverged from a historical mean and that's the idea behind uh, what we're going to talk about in implied volatility is taking and converting the the option price and we see here all these prices and the implied volatility next to it and that's converting the option price to a relative value a little bit sort of like a PE uh, so what this is doing is it's looking at um, using the binomial model black Scholes model it plugs in the it plugs in the option price and based on this many days to go this strike away from the stock price and interest rates and so forth it says on an annualized basis this must be the standard deviation that the stock uh, would move based on this price so 16.2 is uh, annualized one standard deviation move 16.2 percent up or down um, one standard deviation move the reason it annualizes it is because it's easier than to compare and finance across different expiration months and durations. So, for example, if you're looking uh, at a 15-year mortgage and a 30-year mortgage, when you say one's 4%, one's 5%, well, then you could compare because that 4% is an annualized basis, that 5% is an annualized basis. So then you know which one uh, relatively is higher or lower uh, percentage-wise. So let's just then... Once we have these implied volatilities, then we could see there's different implied volatilities per strike um, and even d during the different implied volatilities even uh, for different expirations. Um, so now let's compare to a historical value. If this is the implied volatility, we want to see, well, theoretically, what would the price be if we did a historical volatility? And this way we could see uh, how how possibly how high or low the option is and for example here you could look at how the um, stock moved at what type of volatility today at 15.2 20 day it moved at a 17.8 volatility 52 weeks last year 25.1 and using this theoretical pricing model we could change the implied volatility assumptions and compare the two prices of the market price versus a theoretical value Right now, it's set to a best fit, so it takes the implied volatilities, runs a regression to see um, a best fit line. But let's just look at over here. I'm just going to check off the 20-day volatility. Um, so you could just check that in here. I'm going to press OK. So based on a 20-day volatility, these are what the option theoretical values would be. And then you could compare them to the market prices. So the green ones would be over the over the theory over the market ask the red ones would be uh, equal to or under the market bid um, and this kind of helps you point out how the options on the board look based on using uh, an, a volatility assumption in the binomial option pricing model so let's do let's do a different assumption let's say one what if we applied a one-year historical volatility then we could rerun it and then we could see if, if uh, in the next 14 days, Microsoft moves more at a one-year volatility than all these options look a little bit underpriced. 
because it's assuming a much lower volatility uh, in the next 14 days that the markets are assuming much lower volatility you could also do a combination of uh, the average of 20 day in one year just by checking that so that's a mix or you could put in your own custom volatility so over here you could just check it off and you could do some analysis and let's just say in this to make this example easy we'll just leave this at 20 you could change it type it in but if you put a 20 volatility then here you go then you could see that a lot of these would be underpriced if on average Microsoft moved at a 20 volatility in the next 14 days on another uh, check that you could do here what what we did for convenience is we looked at the historical implied volatility of similar options so we looked at our database and we said well with 14 trading days to go and with a strike a call strike you know 6.3 percent out of out of the money what was the median volatility so I'm going to just uh, click that up here and here's the median volatility 15.9 so we took all the historical observations looked at the median and said well what if we set each of these strikes to the median implied volatility so I'm going to check this box over here I'm going to press OK and then go over here and just close that you could see what uh, if if it was trading at a median volatility and you know then it will show you which uh, option prices are a little bit either um, underpriced or a little bit overpriced as we could see here they're kind of pretty much in line you know a little bit overpriced or a little bit underpriced um, but this is a fast way to make an evaluation and then kind of focus in on um, other uh, on options and do further research uh, thanks everyone for watching and see you next video